February 17, 2011, Peter Clarkson and Howard Rod were diving for abalone near Perforated Island off the coast of Australia. Peter was the one in the water, and Howard manned the boat. Just 10 minutes after Peter got in the water, Howard saw something strange, and that was about 100 meters away, there's this uncontrollable explosion plume of bubbles coming up to the surface, indicating that maybe Peter was in some trouble. And then just shortly after, Peter himself comes bobbing up to the surface, and Howard thinks he can see some blood in the water. So he revs up the boat, rushes over to Peter, and when he gets alongside him, sure enough, he's in a pool of blood, he's bleeding from some kind of wound, and he's bleeding from his mouth. So he gets the boat hook and he puts it around Peter and pulls Peter to the edge of the boat. He reaches down to grab onto his shoulders to hoist him inside the vessel when from under the boat comes this huge great white shark. And it bites down, grabbing Peter around the waist. And when it does, there's this gout of blood that comes spraying out of Peter's mouth all over and into the boat. And it just takes him down and swims off with him. Now, Howard, he's in shock. He just begins driving the boat around for several hours looking for any sign of Peter. But unfortunately for Howard, this traumatic event would not near be the end of the story. You see, people in town and authorities started to ask some pretty serious questions. Questions like, why Howard did not mark the specific location of the attack on his emergency GPS system, which was just the push of a button? Or why didn't he contact authorities? Police didn't learn about this until almost four hours later when the ambulance company, who Howard's lawyer had contacted for Howard, they informed police. Also, like I said, he had been in contact with his lawyer. In fact, he had a radio and a phone which he used to contact several acquaintances, his lawyer, his accountant, both of whom were friends of his, and at least one other person. But again, no police. In addition to that, 10 years prior, he had been part of another tragedy at sea. He was out, again, just with one other fisherman when their boat apparently capsized due to a rogue wave. And he decided to swim 15 hours into shore where the other man named Danny decided to stay with the boat because he was apparently afraid of sharks. And no sign of him was ever found, just as no sign of Peter Clarkson was ever found. But fishing is a dangerous job. However, he's also got some interesting family history that the townspeople, you know, weren't too keen on. And that was that in 2004, Howard's son Isaac was arrested and sentenced to 16 years in prison for murdering a fellow fisherman with a spear gun over a dispute over a woman. So there was all these things that were really making people say, you know, we're not really buying this. I personally have no reason to disbelieve Howard's version of events, so I'm not trying to besmirch him at all. I personally believe him, but that's up to you.